Welcome, my name is Ludwig von Skoste and today I'll be your guide around the Portuguese culture and the beautiful things that we have to work with. So before we begin, allow me to introduce myself. I'm a Portuguese citizen, born and raised here in the capital city, Lisbon. Besides me being Portuguese and my Portuguese culture, I go to an international school, which allows me to meet many other cultures. Turn up the speakers and follow me on this adventure through the Portuguese culture. You may now see one of the most significant monuments of my culture, Torre de Belém. It values the time Portugal were in, a full, were in a time full of war and where no land was safe, so, so the King John II ordered to make a defense tower, right here, in Tegas River. However, King John passed away and couldn't have it done until 1516, when King Manuel I had it finalized and got it over with. It still stands here today, being part of one of the World Heritage and Monument. It celebrates this year of 2016, 500 years. Right across the street from Torre we were able to see the Jerónimos. The Jerónimos represent the Catholic power in the country that the church had in Portugal until 1501. They had it built and it took exactly 100 years to be finalized. It is just like Torre Blanc, considered the world heritage. People from the clergy lived here until late 19th century, where it was then and now it is now used for expeditions, and even today, 500 years later, you can still attend a church every Sunday. It looks like the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's nevertheless a lot smaller, and it's named Ponte Vincent de Bril. It symbolizes the unit between the city of Almada and the city of Lisbon. Now, that, what does the name Vincent de Bril mean? Well, until 25th of April of 1974, it was named Bridge upon Tagus but it changed to 25th of April due to the fact that the Portugal left its dictatorship ruled by Salazar and Marcel Caetan, and the 25th of April is Independence Day and still a national holiday today. After seeing the beautiful Blaine, we head down to downtown Lisbon, where we are in an area called Casa do Comércio. This is a square with 35,000 meters squared. Its significance is that it represents the tsunami that destroyed the city of Lisbon on the 1st of November 1755. It is very symbolic because today it is the third biggest square in Europe, showing the reconstruction and development of the city. Due to the tsunami, today the city of Lisbon is built over water, so don't dig too, dig too deep or you might drown. This is a recipe from the south of Portugal. The origin and history no one knows, but the flavor in Portugal everyone does. It is short, we have a lot of iconic restaurants to eat this dish. It's a tradition and it has been for many decades and even centuries, and people always come back for, for those perfect Portuguese clumps. Portugal has a lot of great cuisine, but if you pass through Blanc, you have to experience the small but delicious custard tarts, or in Portuguese known as Pastéis Blanc. This relates back to my culture because it has open doors in 1837 and it brings alongside a bit of history. For example, did you know that the Prestige Blaine were pioneered by a persecuted and member of the clergy? And it sells over, and did you know that it sells over 50,000 Prestige a day? It is a money making, money making business, and, till, and, and it's enjoyed all around the country. So, hello, I'm here with a Portuguese citizen which has lived in Portugal for many years now. She has experienced full, a full Portuguese life. Until today, she has a lot of stories to tell. But today, we'll focus on an overall view. So let's begin. What do you think of the Portuguese society and what it has to offer? Well, I think that the Portuguese people are very nice um, and that in an overall, we have very good qualities. We like uh, to to have to, to be friend of other persons. We also like to receive persons abroad and we are very open-minded, so. And do you think people in other countries like to have us there? Yes, definitely. And do you think the fact that we're nice makes other people be nice back with us? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so moving on to the second question. What makes Portugal from, different from any other country in the world? I think that we have a very good geographical position. Uh, we have sun every year and we have 
beach, very, very beautiful beach. And is Portugal and like the best of the sun? Do we have a lot of beaches, a lot of... Yes, well, uh, I think that we should um, use that to improve the, um, to, to, to receive other uh, persons and invite people to come to visit Portugal. And is sun always something good or is it a problem? Well, the sun, I would say that sun is good in general. We have to, we need to protect this from the sun, but in general, I think that attract a lot of tourism. Yeah. So maybe the sun has something to do with the happiness of the Portuguese. Yes, society. definitely. That's why I think is one of the reasons why we are always so happy. And what are you missing in this so happy country? Well, probably we are missing uh, some investments. Um, the geographical position is also uh, a problem. We are here in... We have only one neighbor, that is Spain. And that's probably one of the reasons that we really need to improve uh, the investment in some sectors, uh, economical sector like uh, industry. Um, but uh, here we are, we're trying to do and our best. Do you see that as a big problem or as a problem that we as a nation can overcome? It's a big problem, but uh, um, we, I think that the Portuguese population uh, are strong and uh, all are always able to receive the investments from other countries and also so we have the probably also some good keys to improve and uh, to to be in a better position in the near future okay and uh, do you think that portuguese cuisine marks our culture and the way that we as a nation act yes of course we have very good um cuisine uh I, I believe that all the, the tourists uh, have a very good impression of our uh, meals and um, especially some desserts. So I believe that, uh, of course, that is a very good... Um, and does Portugal make the best of everything? So the meat, the fish, yes. the bakery? Yes, we have very good fish. Um, Can you tell me one fish dish? Like one fish, one like dish. the codfish. The, yeah. it, it says that we have one thousand ways to do and cook mm -hmm. uh, codfish. And is there like a special season to eat codfish? There is no special season. Of course, that in the, during the Christmas time yeah. we used to eat uh, codfish, but uh, in in general we eat uh, during all the year. What about meat? Is there like any special dish that you like? Or enjoy? Yes, there are a lot of, of them, but I would say that we, uh, in Portuguese, it calls cozido. Yeah. Uh, and uh, cozido is, is, right? cozido so, Portuguese yeah. is the Portuguese style that we, that is unique. And I think that, that everyone uh, likes to, to taste. Yeah, <laughs> and at least, do you think that living in Portugal is good? Do you like it personally? Yes, of course. Uh, I really like and uh, to live in, in Portugal. Uh, I li I, of course, that I, I really like to live in Lisbon. Um, it's, very, it's very cozy. We have uh, freedom, we have friends, we, every, we have uh, very good neighbors. So uh, I think that we have the perfect environment to live. Um, Do you think well. Lisbon is the best city of the whole country? Yes, <laughs> to live, I think. Yeah, I think so. But is there any other city you'd like to recommend? Of course, there are very, uh, very nice cities. Oporto is the second city, and is very, very nice too. Uh, and we we are during the summertime. Of course, that I recommended to visit Algarve. That uh, have you been to the Algarve? Yes, we we used to go uh, every year. Okay, and do you like it? Yes, of course. W what is so special about the Algarve that so many people like? We have very good beaches. 
and um, and uh, large uh, areas of sand. Yeah. Uh, so we. So it's that typical Portuguese sand that you were talking about, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. It was a pleasure to conduct this interview with you, and I hope you continue this happy, this life full of happiness here in Portugal. Thank you, Rodrigo. I come from a country which its moral stands up for centuries, and generation after generation we preserved it, for putting this nation in the root of the world. We are known for many things, from the best player in the world to the best model. We are, we get, we have conquered the world, and we have gained a lot of culture from it. And today, on this date, I am very proud to say that I come from Portugal, the lost empire.